800 new cases uh, of COVID-19 were reported in Tennessee today. That brings the total to more than 78,000. The State Department of Health says 32 more people have been hospitalized and five others have died. More than 140,000 people around the country have died from COVID-19. Megan Tabarizian is in San Diego with more on how hospitals around the country are being pushed to their limits. Today, coronavirus cases continuing to rise at a staggering rate. Numbers increasing in more than two dozen states, overwhelming medical systems, like this hospital in Hidalgo, Texas. Some patients waiting 10 hours for an examination because resources are so thin. It's very difficult when you are putting your mom's best friend in a body bag. It's very difficult when you're putting your sixth grade school teacher on a mechanical support. In California, Los Angeles' mayor Eric Garcetti said on CNN this morning he's close to declaring a second stay-at-home order as cases there continue to rise. How much worse does it have to get in Los Angeles before you feel compelled to issue another stay-at-home order? Sure. Well, I think we're on the brink of that. The need for more testing reportedly met with resistance from the White House. The Washington Post first reporting the Trump administration is at odds with Senate Republicans, saying the administration is pushing to block billions of dollars from testing and contact tracing, as well as funds for the CDC and NIH in a forthcoming GOP coronavirus relief package. But late this afternoon, a senior White House official claiming the president is fully committed to a robust aid package that addresses real needs. Adding, there have been no negotiations to date. Trump asked about testing this morning on Fox News. Sir, testing is up 37 percent. Well, that's 30, good. I understand. Cases are up 194 percent. It isn't just that testing has gone up, it's that the virus has spread. Many of those cases are young people that would heal in a day. They have the sniffles and we put it down as a test. But health experts continue to stress the virus can impact people of all ages. The nation's leading COVID-19 expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, urging young people to take this virus more seriously. The younger individuals are saying, well, if I get infected, so the chances are is that I won't even have any symptoms, so who cares? You are propagating a pandemic because it doesn't end with you. Megan Tavrizian, ABC News, San Diego. Well, Stones River National Battlefield is come is now welcoming folks to the visitor center. The National Park Service is opening up in a phased approach while working with public health officials to monitor the pandemic. They say the visitor center at Stones River will be open with a maximum occupancy of 25 people. All gated areas except for the parking lot will be open from 8 until 5 daily. We'll turning to weather now.